so guys today we're going to be talking about the control structures so in our control structures we have um, the conditional statement so the conditional statement includes um, the if construct so we ask, we also have um, the loop that's the loop structures so right here I'll still I'll get down here the loop constructs so the conditional statements includes the if statement whereas down here on my loop I'll make use of my do the do loop so these are the two um, control structures we are going to talk about so in this um, program we are going to simply consider the if statement so for the if um, statements we are just going to write a simple program all right let me wipe off this then i'll start with my program name so i have program program salary right so on the next line i'll write my implicit none and then on the next line i can add a comment so remember the comments can be added anywhere i wish to and it doesn't actually change anything in the output of my program it's just used for clarity so i can just write i can just put down anything as my comments and then um, put it up here remember i can write it anywhere within the program but not at but not at the end of the program so here is my comments here i just wrote down this program tells the level of a worker in an organization using the amount of salary he earns so on the next line you know that once i am done with my implicit none the next thing i have to do is to do what to declare my variables and constants right so on the next line what i'm simply going to do is to declare my variables and constants so i'm going to use a real number here so i'm going to use real so i write my real and then write down here i'll simply write um, amount and this is just the only parameter i think i need for this program so i just want to keep it so simple for easy understanding so i'm using just one um one variable for this program and would we'll see the output so then i'll start my main program so i have here print remember that my print is my output statement and these words that i want to reflect on the screen when the program is being run i'd like to put it in a quotation so i'll simply write down 
this sentence in a quotation. So I write here, please enter the amount of money the worker earns. So, um, all right. After this, the next thing I would have to do is to read in the value, right? So that value, I'll read it in as amount. So remember that this, the value I'm reading in has to correspond with the initial value that I have set when I declared my variables. So I'll start my if statement. So I'll simply write if amount is, I'm sorry, I'm denoting my amount with AMNT. You can use anything to denote your amount. It's, you can just be as flexible as you want. So if amount is less than 1.0, then what will happen? I'll print I'll print something. So I'll want to tell you something. If the amount is less than zero, what do I print out? So what I'll print out when the amount is less than zero is maybe I can simply okay. Let me just write it down here. I can simply say this is an invalid amount. So you see, an amount that is less than 1.0 is an invalid amount. So should not be used. So my program should dictate whether the amount you are inputting is valid or not. So for this, I've written here, this is an invalid amount. For any amount less than zero, probably less than one rather, probably if you have an amount from zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. As long as the amount is less than one. So my program would recognize it and simply do what? And simply do what and simply not run it so it will simply just display the print statement i have here that's invalid amount so i have here else if something else happens so i just use my elf else if for um, a situation other than the first situation. So I'd like to put an else if. So the else if serves for another situation other than the first situation. So the other situation might be that the amount, oh, sorry, not amounts. Um, it can be that, right here, I need to correct this, okay. The amount, that's AMNT for my amount. If the amount is greater than this and less than this, okay. If it's greater than this and less than this, yeah, then something else still needs to happen. Then I'll print something. I'll print, I'll not print the level of the worker because, yes, 
this is a valid amount. Numbers greater than zero should be from one and then any amount from one to ten thousand should display this on my print statement. So if I have a number less greater than zero but less than a ten thousand naira, it means that the worker should be in level one. Now I'll print an else which is last lastly. So this else will function for any other situation or condition that doesn't meet the first or second condition it goes for else so as long as the amount now exceeds this 10,000 naira the condition goes for this last else now notice that my last if statement has no if I just use else so that's how you use it you just use if else if and else or you use if and then else or you simply use if else if else if else if and else but make sure you end with an else so for an amount greater than 10,000 it means the worker is in level 2 or a level above so I will simply end my program then build run and see how it goes so I will save my program down here so I'll simply give my program a name so once I save my program the next thing I'll do is to build and run. So I'll go ahead and build my program. So after building my program, I'll simply go ahead and do so the last thing I need to do is to run the program. So I'll simply go ahead and run my program.